Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2. And one of you asked me to use um, the motion picture era ships more, so I wasn't exactly sure what constitutes uh, being a motion picture era ship, but I assume they all look kind of similar to uh, the Constitution refit from the motion picture. So here I have um, a Miranda refit. Uh, the Constitution refit, a Star League refit, and I grabbed the Excelsior class prototype because I know for a fact that, uh, that that was in those those movies. So um, yeah, that's all I have right now. I was thinking about maybe doing a Star Stalker class, which let me show you what that is. Um, you guys already know what it is, but it, it looks cool. So I'm gonna yeah, this thing. Oh, it looks so beautiful. It, like it has little landing bays on the sides, but uh, this thing is probably. A lot more powerful so we're gonna go with that because we are fighting the Klingons even though they are on medium um, AI in all eras at Alpha Centauri because we have to have that map at least 16 times in in a one week because that's what I generally do it should be pretty cool um, but we also have another Federation ally assisting us and that, that's really all I have to say I believe we had 40,000 command points it sounds about right so there may be some next generation air ships running around there actually I can almost guarantee that there are um, yep, there's an Agvar class, and there's a Galaxy class, and there's another Agvar class, and a little, what the heck is that? Is that the little shuttle thing that looks like some, like, mechanical part? Let me just wait for my cursor to get over it, perhaps, eh? Almost, and, I uh, yeah, whatever, we'll find out when, when we get there now, won't we? Let's actually take them uh, head on right here, come up from behind them. We're doing a sneak attack. Go for the big ship. Go for the big ship. Five all phases. Torpedoes away. Oh, good hits. Good hits. Ooh. That slightly hurt my pride because my ships are fine. Um, oh. The Constitution Glass Reef. It looks amazing as always. Really good job on it. I like how the color changes when you turn um, off and on the deflector dish. Ooh, the Klingons just lost something that was probably important, I'm going to assume. A little bit of lag, but it's nothing to be worried about. Can I do that whole tractor beam thing? No, I can't because they're dead. <laughs> Katinga class, my favorite Klingon ship. Enemy shields are down. That's music to my ears. Actually, they are targeting this ship a lot. Either that or we're just getting in the way of a lot of explosions, because, um, who lost weapons? Did we lose weapons on the... Oh, we lost weapons. That's just depressing, guys. So we're doing so well. Actually, I should take a look at the, uh, prototype Excelsior, because this thing is, like, blending together next generation era and, um, original series era. It, it does look cool, although this thing looks pretty much just like the Constitution Refit, except it has an extra um, warp engine on top, and I believe that, yeah, it, it literally is the exact same ship, except the warp engines on the Constitution are up a little bit higher, um, over here the side one's a little bit, a little bit lower, and uh, the Constitution class does not have that rear deflector thing on the back, so, yeah, very cool looking ship. Um, there's another Nangvar over here, actually. Probably should take care of that. And I'm seeing a regular Constitution class. A Constitution class Mark II running around. Ooh, I, I actually heard the original series um, bridge sounds, I think. Was that sound coming from the Constitution class? I gotta get up close to it again. We're going on a listening experiment here. There's the phaser sounds. Eh. I'm not sure. I, I might have heard it. Anyway. Enough of that. Either way, the Constitution class is, is a wonderful ship. But it looks fantastic. I mean, even though it's like the one we're all accustomed to, we can the original series, it's still... It's, it's a great style of a uh, space vehicle. Well, I've ever thought that out. Um, it, it's very cool. Hmm. 
Mm, this 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 fleet looks so weird. We have Constitution refits alongside Galaxy class vessels. Um, I'm seeing a slight twist in the timeline here. Oh, there's their little shuttle thing that actually rotates when it's hit by torpedoes. Look at that, see? <laughs> it's like, everyone just died in there from the, the, the G-forces. Never mind the constant phaser barrages, but the, the G-forces from that would have been insane. Yeah, they're so dead. And we've won, so there is a positive thing right there. And, oh my gosh, we have a traitor in our midst. Ooh, and a starship just exploded. Oh, we just actually got hurt by things exploding. This is not good. But yeah, so the the the, the uh, Castellani, Castellani, they're traitors, guys. We gotta tow them away to base because they just fired on a Federation starship. How dare they? How dare they? All right, guys, that battle took just over 14 minutes. We got five kills and lost no ships. That's a very good score indeed, especially with the 1467 command points. Our allies got three kills, and the enemy only killed one ship. And, of course, that was our, our ally ships. That battle went extremely well. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this battle. I thought it was fantastic, although I actually thought the Klingons would be a little bit harder to defeat, but then again, they were on medium AI. And uh, not losing is always preferable. Um over losing so if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and if you are not subscribed please subscribe if you want to see more if you guys did not like this video i do apologize for that please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is i can do to improve to make better the next videos that i make so that hopefully you guys can enjoy them and as always, if you guys want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about that. I will read those, and I'll try to use those ideas in my future videos. So, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I will see you next time.